Hi everyone, I'm Natalie Santini of SoHungryHippie.com and it's Friday so this is our live sesh and today will be super chill and informal and I want to go over five things about garment sewing. I know a lot of you have some serious fears when it comes to garment sewing and I totally understand because I was there too a while ago. We won't talk about how many years ago. But I clearly remember it. It was, <laughs> it was a big hurdle to cross, so I, I get it. I want you to know that at SoHungryHippie.com, I am only carrying patterns that are easy to follow, easy to sew, will give you comfort, no pinchy, no squeezy, none of that. I, I'm not having it. I carry patterns that are independently written, meaning it's not by a huge corporation. These are women-owned companies. They're small businesses. And I don't mean small as in revenue. I mean small as in not a huge corporation of a thousand people, okay? I have tested many of these patterns. I was on their tester teams. Hi, everyone. So good to see you. Oh, what a cute machine. Look at these avatars, Ramel. Do you see this? Yeah. How cute. Oh, Jill's here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Got hi, Zena. Awesome. Oh, yay. It Everyone's is a here. beautiful Tina. morning. Look at that bird. And oh, that's a, a cute sloth. bird. Kathy's yeah. here. Do you know we have uh, birds nesting in our mailbox? Yes. Every year we do. Yeah. Oh. I refuse to move them. I see them flying into our little mailbox, and I'm like, just leave them alone. And my my postman is so sweet. He just leaves them alone. He's like, fine, I'll just throw your mail <laughs> on the porch. <laughs> Anywho, um, back to the topic, right? I'll try not to digress too much. Hey, Tamara. Uh, okay, so these patterns that are in the shop, I will walk you through my favorites and why they're my favorites and then talk about some of the different companies. We're going to talk. I have my, my post-it. Thanks, Kim. I'm going to talk about patterns, I'm going to talk about fabrics, and I'm going to talk about uh, body image a little bit. And of course, certain patterns that I recommend if you're brand new. Because I think that's what most of us want to know, right? Where do I start? If I've never sewn a garment, where do I start? First up, though, I want to show you my pants, aka trousers, because I made these. This is with a rayon. Wait, wait. Okay. Do you want me to go over there to make sure you don't fall? No. Okay. Oh my gosh, Ramel, that would be classic though if I did fall. This chair is a little wobbly. I will feel guilty if I just watch you fall right here. If a leg, if a leg on the chair breaks, it'll just be part of the show. These are my Luna pants. This is the pattern. I tested this for Ray when she came out with this pattern. This is in a rayon print. And I love them. They are elastic all the way around, but they don't look sloppy, right? The elastic doesn't make them look sloppy. I think that's a common misconception is that an elastic waistband might make you look a little frumpy or sloppy. It won't. It won't. Fabric is everything. Color is everything. Fit, you know, just all of it. It's awesome. I can't read that fast from us. Cat had a comment about birds up there a second ago. It's all good. Okay, so first up, you I'm going to start. You do have a question. Oh, yeah. Thinking about trying a garment sew, what's a great one for a beginner? Yes, I have got you. So let's begin there. What do you make if you're an absolute beginner? First thing I want to say is whatever you really want to make is fine. So a lot of times, well, when I started out, people were telling me, oh, you can't sew that. That's too complicated. Don't start with that. Da, 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 da. I didn't listen to that because I don't listen to people a lot of times when they try to give me advice because I have my own brain. And uh, I started out my first garment as the Trillium, which was then called the washi dress. Okay, she renamed this. And maybe, I mean, I thought it was great. It ended up, I wore it. I wore it out in public. It was a black, sort of sheer lawn 
look. I also did a green one on the same weekend, and they were wearable. They were not perfect by any means, but they were wearable. And to the everyday person, they didn't know that it was handmade until I said it, you know? So I want to say that. If there's something, a garment that you really want to make and you're new, as long as you have some confidence and you go into it thinking, okay, this isn't going to be absolutely perfect, then you're going to be fine. You just have to have confidence and go slowly. But I will say, I think the Strata Top is a great garment to do as a first timer. I think it's easy. You can see that it's sort of a boxy t-shirt fit, but depending on the fabric, it can look very elegant. So I have made it from quilting cotton and rayon. Both are fabrics you can absolutely work with as a beginner. Rayon is going to be a little bit more flimsy, but it is not slippery, if that makes sense. I couldn't agree more. They said my first bag wasn't for beginners, but I didn't let that stop me. Exactly, exactly. I really am a firm believer. If you want to make something, you can absolutely do it. The Trillium is my first pattern I got from your shop, said Tamara. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Yes, I love this. Okay, so I'm going to let you know this weekend I'll be sewing up a, a Strata. I, it's not going to be like a class or anything because, you know, it's just so simple. I'm going to do it on, I'll probably post a video on Instagram and YouTube. Can you make the strata with a drapey rayon versus a linen? Absolutely you can, Tamara. Yes. Yes. You can always, uh-oh, I forgot my glasses. You can always follow the fabric recommendations on the back of the patterns if you want it to look like the cover. However. You know how I do. They're right there, Ramon. No, right here. <laughs> Thank you. Where? He's so sweet. He's going to grab me my glasses. This one? Not, yes, yes, darling. No, not those, darling. The clear ones. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so you can absolutely follow the fabric suggestions, or you can do what I do. I almost referred to myself in the third person, and do whatever the heck you want, and just see what happens. Like, that's part of the fun of sewing. So. This, yes, she says silk noil, which I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's not silky. Silk noil feels like a slubby linen, okay? Don't be fooled. Uh, da, 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 uncomplicated with linen, cotton eye cat, or silk noil. Or use the fabrics as your canvas. So you can do this in anything you want. You can do it in a sheer. You can do it in a silk. You can do it in a cotton. Hi. Yes, everything can be lengthened pretty easily. And you know what? I have a friend, Beth. She's from Sew DIY. That's her company and her online website. And she has got the most in-depth, wonderful tutorials on how to lengthen or shorten patterns. So I think what I'll do when I get off the camera is post some of those links because she is more of an expert on that than I am. I won't pretend to tell you how to do everything if I don't know how. <laughs> I'll just say I don't know. I've done it because I'm 5'4 almost and I have to shorten a lot of things. So it is not complicated. Uh, is rayon difficult? No, Di, you would be fine with rayon. So the thing about rayon, this is a rayon, which I just restocked. This is Koi by Rashida Coleman Hale. The thing about rayon is it has a wonderful drape. Everyone looks fabulous in rayon. You make a dress in this, you make a skirt, you make a blouse. It's just drapey and beautiful. Some people are intimidated because it has a little bit different feel than a cotton. But don't be intimidated. It's all in your head. You're creating obstacles where there aren't any. I know you can do this because I did it. And I'm not, I did, had no training. I am a nurse. <laughs> I did not go to seamstress school. I didn't have a personal train your person or take classes. I was in England at the time, and I learned by reading books, okay? And I learned with excellent blogs online. I didn't even have YouTube at the time because we had crappy internet. Can you believe it? So. It was the only internet. It, well, BT yeah, internet. We yeah, we didn't have an option. So uh, I know you can work with rayon. It's a great, great substrate. And you know what? I'm bringing more of it in because I love it. I love the 
feel of rayon. It's cool in the summer. It doesn't make your armpit stink like a lot of spandex materials will. It is not stretchy. It is made from trees, but it's a man-made fiber, if that makes sense. So it's natural fibers, but a man-made substrate. Okay. Um, Kathleen, I have some rayons in the shop right now. I have koi and I have some moda rayons and I have, I just restocked another one. Go to fabric and I have a square and it says rayon, like in fancy font. It's cute. Yes, rayon is washable. I do not buy any fabric that I can't just wash and dry like a regular mom. You know what I mean? I mean, I am not going to read labels and I know myself. Have you seen that meme? Hey, I know you and you know you and, and you know that I know you. <laughs> ben Stiller? Is, is that an SNL skit? Oh, yeah, that's yes, right. He's so With Tom funny. Cruise. And I just crack up because that is so true. We know ourselves. I'm not going to read tags. I think I just ruined a piece of clothing because it was just silk and I didn't know it. And I threw it in the wash. Whatever. Life. Okay, let me show you a, a rayon top that I did here so you can see. I've worn this so many times. My serger was broken at the time that I made this top. So this is completely done on. The sewing machine and as you can see on this hem oh I'll take them overhead and show them this hem on this hem I don't know if you can zoom in further now maybe okay perfect so here's my little hem see how on this seam I pinked it which means I used the pinking shears let me grab them so you can see what I'm talking about I cut out the rayon with my pinking shears. Pinking shears have this jagged edge. And this doesn't necessarily stop fraying, but what it does is when it's cutting the seam, it's making the seam really short. And so there's less fraying than if you cut it with regular scissors. So on this, you can see after many, many washes, I've probably worn this 20 times, there's a little bit of fraying but it's nothing that I can't deal with and just trim out. But here's my hem. I just did a double fold narrow hem and it's absolutely fine. And I've worn this a lot. This is how rayon looks. See that? It's real scrunchy. It's not stiff. I do like the feeling. You like the feeling of rayon too? Would you like a onesie in rayon, Ramel? I would like some pajamas. Pajamas. Ooh, pajama pants would be wonderful in rayon. I added a snap here because I felt like it was showing too much cleavage. So I put a little cam snap right there. It didn't do anything special. And this was just a let's see what happens, right? And it worked. You know what, Tamara? I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I will find it. And I'm going to put this in comments. In fact, guess what? I'm going to do a whole blog post on this because I know we, I need to remember things. And the only way I'm going to remember is if I have it in a blog post. So I'm on it. Uh, okay. So that's. Huh? Oh, <laughs> well, I just call her out because she's special to me. She's a, a Midwesterner and I know her in real life. So I call her out. Uh, okay, so there's that. Uh, let's move on to, I'm going to show you my trillium, one of them. I was looking in the attic for all of my trilliums. I think I've probably made 20. I don't wear them all, but I wear most of them. And I'll tell you why. Because the only part on the trillium you want to get right is that bust measurement. Because you don't want it to squeeze you or push. And what's beautiful about the trillium is on the back, you have shearing. So as long as you're cutting the size that is correct for you, it will feel excellent. It's not, see this? This is stretchy. Oh, so nice to wear this. When I wear this dress, I don't feel like I'm fancy. You know how sometimes fancy clothes can feel tight and uncomfortable? Oh my gosh, I should have ironed this. But the trillium, I do not feel that way at all. 
I love a cap sleeve. It just gives me a little bit of a sleeve, but I've also made it sleeveless. In fact, my sleeveless, there's, I have a sleeveless version up on the wall, but we can't see it. I do love a sleeveless because with the sleeveless version in the winter, I will wear a long sleeve knit top underneath and wool tights and wear my dress and it's year round. Shearing, oh my gosh, Tamara, so easy. So I can absolutely do like a, a video on it, but here's the thing. I know Ray has a shearing tutorial on her blog and there are lots of videos on YouTube with shearing. So all you do, you have your normal thread in the top of your machine and you hand wind elastic thread in your bobbin, okay? And you don't do it tight. You don't wrap it in there tight. You just kind of chillax and roll your bobbin with some elastic thread and it gives this result. It's incredibly easy and so cool. And like Jacqueline just said, it's so fun. You could literally do this on so many things. So let me tell you this, I didn't know what I didn't know. I just took two width of fabric panels, pieces of fabric, put them together, sewed down the side, seeds, side seams, and then I sheared for a waist. And my sister Catherine wore that when she came to visit me in England. And it, I know she's going to say it was so comfortable because it was no big piece of elastic, you know, that can sometimes roll. It was just the shearing as the waistband, which is so comfortable. <laughs> you can eat like anything you want. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Oh, Deidre, don't be, I, I think that's a common fear. And this is what I'm going to say about that. Make the right patterns. Make ones that are not super fitting, that don't matter if it's a little big, <laughs> that, that uh, if you make it a little big or a little small, it's going to be forgiving. That is my advice because you're, you're just going to astound yourself. You're going to do it once and you're going to say, what the heck was I so scared about? I know it. I know it because I did it. It's kind of like using a zipper foot. A lot of times we're so afraid to take that foot off the machine. What if we can't get that thing back on or right or whatever? And then you do it and you're thinking, oh, this was it. So honestly, another great beginner pattern is a Clio skirt. I've made a bajillion of these. Let me find the one I brought today. I was going to wear a skirt today, but then I wasn't feeling it. So this is my sort of patchwork Clio. I'm sorry I didn't iron it. I didn't do squares. I wanted the lines to run diagonally. And uh, so I just cut up a quilt that I had made that I didn't really love and made it a Clio skirt. Super easy. The magic in the Clio is this flat front waistband that gives a super pretty finish and elastic in the back, okay? And the pockets. There are pockets in the Clio, deep. Nice, roomy pockets, okay? I love wearing Clio. With some cute tights and a, a shirt or a sweater, it's just, it just elevates the look. And you can lengthen or shorten. And I will say, Ray has tutorials on how to lengthen this thing to a midi or a, a maxi on her blog. So you're in good hands with this pattern. I know you are, I tested it for her. I, I, I mean, I'm so, I don't want to say that word, A-N-A-L, but when I test a pattern, I tell them everything I think. And so if there's a step and half of the information is on the next page, I say, uh-uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Move that information to that same page, like things like that. So I know how well this is written. Hi, Sandy. Yes, I do use a serger sometimes, but I'll tell you, not all the time. Sometimes my serger has black thread and I'm making a white garment and I don't feel like changing the thread. I call Ramel to do it for me and he's not around. So do you need a, <laughs> so, another serger? No. Oh, fabulous idea. I could absolutely use two sergers. <laughs> so a lot of times I sew my clothing on a sewing machine. And what I'll say about that, yes, we did a photo shoot class. That's right, Kat, we sure did. Uh, what I'll say about a sewing machine is you want one that can do a zigzag foot if you need it because that will also help prevent fraying and it can give you a little extra give in the seam. 
So imagine putting on a t-shirt and, you know, like you make your arms go out in a YMCA or something like that. You don't want that that uh, head hole. <laughs> What's that called where your head goes through? To pop. You want it to have a little bit of give at least. And so I'm talking about the strata. That's actually a big head hole at the top. Uh, where was I going? Oh, so the zigzag will give you just a little bit of give. It's not a stretch seam, but it gives you a little bit of give. So when I'm sewing on my sewing machine for garments, which I do often, I use a zigzag stitch. Yes, exactly, Kim. That's what I'm talking about. Natalie, just I use in time. rainbow thread. Oh, that's such a good idea. I got to burn through my 500 spools of white and black serger thread. Camera, I feel like maybe I could just give it away. Uh, yeah, right, Sierra? I'm serious. I don't know what it is about sergers. I can't stand studying. I can't stand it. It's like induces rage in me. <laughs> and it's easy. They, we, they have mean, come around. Easy. They have come around. They've gotten better. We have a, a Juki air thread uh, serger, but there's still parts of it that I'm not following exactly right. And so I just, I just, I'm like, I'll pay you $5. Can you come serge my serger? Serve my serger? Okay. All right. So I talked about Clio. Let's move it right along. I also love the Ruby Top. I know some people have not had uh, pleasing results with this because I heard about it from them. And I'll tell you what it is. You have to do this top in a cotton or a linen, and then this flowy part, you got to use rayon, honey. You got to use rayon. Because if you use a quilting cotton down here, it's going to look like a pillow. So that's the trick with this, okay? Or use a handkerchief weight linen for this part. That's real. Or a lawn. You know, a lawn cotton would totally work because it's super, super, super light. It might catch some air, though. So I, I just say use rayon. That's awesome, Tamara. So I love the ruby. It's super simple. I've made, I don't know. I don't keep a spreadsheet. I'm going to guess probably 15 rubies, and I wear them a lot in the summer. In fact, on my Instagram, I just saw a photo when I was scrolling backwards to find examples of a pink one I made. And I love that thing it's with rayon. Oh, that's brilliant, Gina. I need a color. You know what? I have taken Sharpies and written on my serger. Like, this is differential feed. This is what it does. This is, and I already forgot. And this is the top needle thread. And crank this up if you need a bigger stick. I mean, whatever. We are who we are. I know me. <laughs> Do you know me? Okay, next up. Let me show you what silk noil looks like. This is it. I'm going to put it on the table, and Ramel, you zoom in as hard as you can. Oh, oh yeah, it looks black almost. This is like an evergreen. And uh, silk noil, I'm probably saying it wrong. It's probably like silk noir, something fancy. It just has this kind of slubby, oh, maybe if I put my phone light on it, would that work? How do I bring my light up? Do I say flashlight? Uh, yeah, flashlight. No, oh, no, that's that. not it. Flashlight on iPhone? Nope. <laughs> I don't know how to run a phone. I don't know how to run a phone. I am. Okay, thank you. Let's do this. Can we can we see it a little better? See the these little slubbies? It's so cute. And it's not silky. So when I bought silk noil, I thought I was getting something slinky. And it's not. It feels like a linen and it's a little bit slubbed. If you can see those little things there. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Here you go, Ramel. Thank you. So this is a version of a strata top. I add a little pocket to it just for funsies. And I love this thing. I usually, I made it big because I like that look. I like it to have a little flash dance shoulder if I can. So I wear a tank top from Target underneath, you know, for coverage. You do you. 
You can make it more form-fitting if you want to. So that's the strata. Now, if any of these patterns sell out, I have bajillions on the way. They will be back. So I think we have most of them enabled for pre-order. So if you see it as a pre-order, you won't be waiting months or anything. It, at the most, it's going to be like a week. Probably shorter. Oh, yes. Is it kind of like raw silk texture? Well, if I knew what raw silk felt like, maybe I could answer that. It, it definitely feels like linen, like a, like a cotton linen. That's how it feels. It's not satiny or anything like that. So you're probably right, but I don't know if I've ever seen raw silk. OK, next up, I, don't, I know I'm trying to hurry. So I showed you about the Luna pant. That's what I'm wearing. Also a great beginner pattern. Do those patterns come in PDF? I think if you go to their website, you can get it PDF. I don't know why you'd want to do that, though, because you, I won't get into it, but you'll have to print it out and tile it, cut it, or order it from a printer, and then you're spending at least $20 to get that AO file in the mail. So I am a huge fan for paper patterns, and that's why I stock them. I'm supporting these women. In fact, one of them, I won't mention who, but one of them told me I'm her biggest buyer. And I, that made me so happy because that means we're supporting each other, and it's, it just works. OK, let's go here. Let's go here. Oh, since we're on the Made by Ray topic of the Trillium, the Clio, the Ruby, Luna, I will also mention the Rose Pant. If you haven't seen my, oh, you don't have to do cuffs, Tamara. You can leave them off. I, so let me tell you, I don't like cuffs either because I feel like they squeeze my ankles. However, when you're sewing your own, you can make that elastic cuff. Oh, that hurts my leg. You can make that elastic cuff as wide as you need, right? Oh, I'm so stiff. <laughs> what happened? Oh, got my bones cracking. So I just make it like a little bit looser, but yeah, you can totally leave off the cuff. It'll just be flowy. Palazzo pants. Palazzo pants. Is that like a drop crotch? Because I do have Ethel, and my video is almost done for Ethel. I'll get into this one in a minute. I'll tell you more about Ethel in a minute. OK, let's finish up with Made by Ray, the rose pant. Wonderful. Flat front, elastic on the back flowy pant. This is stunning in rayon. Stunning. And somebody in the group just posted her rose pants in the Facebook makers group, and I think she used cotton. So I want to see those on. Uh, my friend Erin made these in a rayon. So Erin Jo, and you can go to her Instagram and see them. I need to add her photo to the rose if I haven't already. Jot that down on a post-it. OK, next. Let me talk to you. Well, no, let's keep it, let's keep it organized here. Let's go to our next maker, designer. I want to talk about Sew House 7. Yeah, oh, Tamara, if you can make the shorts, how cute, right? I can't wear shorts. I'm too low-legged. So this. If I could stay on a horse. Uh, this Sew so House 7, one of my favorite pattern companies as well. I've done, I think, all of her patterns, and I have had no issues at all. So I have said it before, this trouser pattern, free range slack, is one of my favorites. I think I brought, did I bring one pair or two pair? This is a free range slack in quilting cotton, OK? This is it. So easy. Now, the thing you're not seeing here is there is a side panel. And if you wanted to do a different fabric, I think that's totally cool. This was my first one, so I wanted to make sure I did it right. It has deep pockets. I, I think there's an optional back pocket. Yes, there is. But I don't put on back butt pockets because I'll stick my phone in. And then when I sit down, it falls out, and I don't know it. So I don't do that. That pocket looks 
big enough to carry an iPad. Well, what are you trying to say? I like my pants uh, sewn on the roomy side, if you will. I don't want a pant that's tight. If I want to wear tights, I'll wear tights or leggings. But I don't do anything like, no, I don't even want to, makes me feel gross. I don't want to be tailored and nipped and tucked. So this is an excellent pattern. I know you can do it. The instructions are wonderful. If you're more on the beginner side, start with the Remy. The Remy is ultra easy. You'll have this done in an hour. OK, OK, an hour Natalie time, maybe two hours if you're on the slower side. Definitely a day. Oh, Safe. I mean, it's not going to take a day. But yeah, OK. Well, you can get it done in a day. And listen, a, a note about that. It doesn't matter how fast or slow you sew. Just sew. It doesn't matter. Stop thinking about that. It doesn't matter at all. If you take seven days to make a Remy and you get it done, you're doing more than 90% of the people out there. So just enjoy, get it done. Enjoy the process. Yes, enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. Oh, yeah, Tamara, I have made so many pants with quilting cotton, and I love them. Because the thing about it is the more you, you wash them, they get softer and softer and softer, just like a quilt. These are also quilting cotton, Anna Maria, and I made them crop length. So a lot of times what I'll do is put these on with like white and black striped socks and make it a design feature. And then if I have a really roomy pant, I try to bring in the top a little bit. I try to not do roomy, roomy. I'll do, you know, roomy, balloony pant and then maybe a t-shirt with a crop sweater or something sleeveless um I don't know I I don't see there's only short sleeve mid sleeve and long sleeve on this pattern and I never thought to look no it can't be because it's a raglan so you can't do I mean you can you can do whatever you want you can do whatever you want you're the master of your sewist sewing thing but with a raglan sleeve you're gonna have a huge gap there Remember those guys in the 80s that would wear the tank tops with the big armholes? Blech. Nope, not doing it. <laughs> okay, what else have we got? Let's move on to So Liberated. Okay, so I have made, I think, all of her patterns too. Metamorphic, I have a few of those left. I had that on Wednesday, if you saw that live. I love the hinterland dress. Very, very cute. Looks great on all kinds of body types. That's what we're about. You want to feel good in your clothes. And you know what? Somebody, I saw it on a post somewhere. When you sew your own clothes, it's whatever size you say it is. For real, if size is a thing for you, I know it is for me, and I admit it. I'm not proud of it. But with, when I sew my own clothes, I, I don't put a size tag in there. Like, it's just never entering my mind. And I love that. The statuary skirt is super fun if you like long skirts. I'm a fan of long skirts. What will scare you is you're going to see all these buttons down the front. Guess what? They're faux. That's right. They're fake buttons. You pull this baby on, OK? This is the easiest skirt ever. It's super comfortable. Huge pockets, huge pockets. You're not losing your phone in this. And it can be made in a variety of fabrics. So she recommends linens, linen blends, soft cotton, silk noil, rayon, cotton eye cat, and lighter weight chambray or denim, which means basically you can use whatever you want. Okay? So let's do it. In fact, I think I need to make another one. All right, let's talk about Liesl and company. Her patterns are excellent, especially if you're on the nitpicky side, which I know some of you are. She has really detailed instructions, especially about fitting the bust. So when you have a curvy bust, you want darts so that the fabric will lay around the curves and not just come out and then hang right? That's so annoying. So Liesl is an expert, a true, true expert. Her background is in fashion design and 
pattern design, and I can't recommend her patterns more. I mean, I just, they are excellent. Any one you pick. I bought a bunch of her new ones that just launched this year. I'm going to test those before I put them in the store. But this one is fabulous, and so is the Kira dress, which I'm out, or I'd show you the cover. But it's, it's arriving, hopefully today. Uh, what else have I made from her? I made her trousers. She has several trouser patterns. I made the one that's pull-on. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, just, they're great. And I will be stocking more and more and more. Right now I'm making her Yanka jacket. It's like a cropped, shorter jacket. But again, not nip and tuck. It's just a cool jacket. Okay. I have made this several times. This is Anna Maria's popover tank. I love this because what's cool about this one is on the back, it's like this detailed back. Instead of just being a regular tank top, can you zoom in at all, Linnell? It has these, uh, this detail here. It's just so cool and very, very easy to make. I made this in silk noil. I also made it in a satin, and I made it in a quilting cotton, and I love them all. Just keep in mind with quilting cottons, it will stand out from your body a little bit more than if you're using a rayon or something slinky, okay? It's a look. It's a vibe. You got to own it. When you own it, you look great. All right, let's talk about Ethel. So I'm launching my digital class for this because I love these patterns by Style Arc, but the instructions are sparse. And so if you're asking why am I carrying them, it's because the result is so great. And once you can get your head around the instructions and how to sew it, it's like, oh, that's so easy. So here is one pair of my ethels, and these are cropped. This is a cropped length, so if you don't want a cropped pant, you're going to have to come in here at the knee and lengthen, okay? And there's a whole topic on that. I'm going to add the links. But see the drop crotch? These are so comfortable. I wear these in the summertime all the time. I can make a pair of ethels in about 30 minutes. I'm not kidding you. It is such a simple make once you do it. So. That class will be ready soon, and I'll sh I'm hoping to put all the pictures of the ethels I've made because I did it in the majority quilting cotton, and then I did some linen ones, linen rayon blend, and they're so drapey and cool, and uh, I wear these in the summer all the time because I don't do shorts. So there's that, and I will say the Olivia dress is also super easy. You can make it in almost anything you want, cotton, rayon, linen, whatever. And she also has a pattern called the bob pant. And I didn't pull that, but the bob is a lot like the ethel, except traditional. So no dropped crotch and full length. And I have a free YouTube video making the bob from, I don't know, four years ago that's still up if you need to see it. And I've had lots of people email me about that video because they couldn't understand the bob instructions because they were on the newer side. But watching the video, it just clicked, and they made many bobs. So there's that. Awesome. Yeah, maybe I can get that done tonight, today, or tomorrow, or Sunday. <laughs> yes, it's coming. It's already shot. I just got to edit it because, you know, I don't know if I said any S words or if I, like, lost my bobbin or whatever. Um, okay, here is another. This is an Ogden cami that I lengthened, and this is a Ruby Star wide back. And I'm telling you, you guys, the wide backs work for garments. For garments, here's another wide back. This is a wrap dress. I'm not recommending this pattern. It was a big box store. Not easy. I mean, you know, it's all relative. But this is a Ruby Star wide back, and I have this stocked in the shop. I love this dress. I love it. I, w I mean, it's not, you see it's a wrap. Let me put it on real quick. Yes, I'm open. We're open every, every Wednesday and Saturday. Where did my wrappy thing go? <laughs> it's 
here somewhere. Am I going to mess up my microphone, Ramel? Uh, no. No, you should be fine. Well, there is a hole for my... Oh, there it is. All right. This is a wide back, like I said, quilting cotton, Ruby Star Society. And I love a wrap dress because it's as tight or as loose as you want it to be. Snag? No, I don't have any snags. Now, this is not ironed or set, and I have to do a little bust um, frog here. You know, those, those frogs that go on the inside so you can hook it? So, yeah. So your girl bits don't show. That's what I have to do on this. And I'm wearing it over clothes. But look at this. Just stepped on my tie. Look at this cute skirt. It's so cute. And I do have a Instagram post where I have this on for real, like as a piece of clothing, somewhere on my Instagram. Is getting a full yard of the wide back enough for a pattern like the Savi dress? I have to map that out. I, it depends on the length you're making, Tamara. Um, you know what? And I just made that. What did I use? I think I did a yard and a half. But I wanted it all the way to the floor. Like mine is a true maxi dress. Did I bring that? I wore that just the other day. So I will say, you don't have to lengthen your Ogden anymore. You can just get the Savi dress pattern, which is very, very similar. But the math and the, the freehand drawing of it out is done for you. This is a rayon. I probably wore this 50 times last summer. We don't have AC or anything, so I have to dress cool. That was a great question. And I am going to dive into that. I'm going to have Michelle help me with some mathing of out, <laughs> mathing of out, because if you're buying quilting cotton, some of these patterns, they give directions for 54 inch fabric, and that's not what a quilting cotton is. So you, you do have to do some adjusting, but you know what, I always say, just buy extra fabric. <laughs> I always buy extra, because what if you make a top and then you want pants, and I'll show you what I mean. I made this dress with silk noil on the top, and cotton on the bottom. This is a style arc pattern. I, I have to stock this pattern. I don't think I have it right now. And I can't think of what it was called. But look, I had leftover fabric, so I made the pants. And you know I'm a fan of layering. And yeah, sometimes I will layer. I don't even care. I'm gonna, if I'm, if I'm gonna dress up, it's gonna be full on, right? Okay, so there's that. Another fun one is this swing dress. This is like a pillowcase dress for adults. I love this thing. You can't see it here. It's very hard to see even in real person. But when you get up here on the back, you can see there's a big bow if you want to add it. And I love that. It's so fun. And in a statement fabric, I mean, yes. This is not a moo moo. This is style. This is like the thing in Sweden, or is it Switzerland or Sweden? I don't know, I get those confused. But go for the look, go for that vibe, and go all the way. That's my advice with fashion. I'm not a fashionist person. Well, I don't know, I am in my own head. So this is the painted portrait dress, which sadly, the pattern is out of print now. But I brought it because I made this out of all quilting cotton, and I love it, and people stop me every time I, I wear this thing. And it's so crazy, right? Octopi? Like, what? But that's what I'm talking about. Like, just go for that full vibe. I wear this with blue tights. I'd talk to me if I saw me in a grocery store. This is the Angie dress, the pattern by Sis Boom. It is on sysboom.com. It is a PDF, not in, not in print. But I've made several Angies, and they're super, super easy. It's got a nice wide hem at the bottom, so it's going to fall really nicely. I mean, I should have ironed it. 
but you know what I do. I just show up and here we go. And you can add a pretty binding and it is sleeveless, which I love also. I layer this all the time. And this is quilting cotton. Commit to the vibe. That's what I'm talking about, right? I do love this, but nothing about this is available anymore. But this was one of my first, this was in the first year of garment making too. And I kept this, even though it's a little bit tight now, I kept it because I'm so happy of how far I've come. Like all the seams are, are <laughs> crazy in here and not perfect. Nothing about this is perfect, but I keep it as a reminder because it doesn't have to be perfect to be pretty. It doesn't. Still looks nice. I, I couldn't you, tell the difference. You couldn't tell, right? No. This is a linen blouse, and I don't have this pattern because it is a big box store pattern. However, listen, it was all wrong for me, but I made it work. And how I made it work is I added a snap here, just a black cam snap. Not professional garment, but it's fine. You don't even see it when it's on. It's linen. It's big and boxy and loose. But it's a vibe. I layer this with some long hippie necklaces and I'm good to go. Put on a pair of bell bottoms, boom, out the door. So even though the result was not what I wanted, I can make it work. And I think you just have to be a little bit flexible when you're making your own garments. And if it's not how you wanted, think about how you can make it work. Zena, well, bags technically, but I've always just sewn everything. So if I see something pretty in a store or in a magazine, I think, oh, I want to make that. And I don't limit myself. I never, ever tell myself, oh, but I'm not like a professional quilter, so I can't make that quilt. No, I just go for it and try it. And, you know, I'm in it for the fun and the creative, the creative energy, and I don't mind if it's not perfect. I, that's a key piece to happiness, if you don't know. <laughs> to not expect perfection, because it will never be. Well, isn't sewing happiness to you? Sewing is happiness to me. Heck yes. And, you know, there have been times where I'm not pleased with my end result, and I think, yeah, your, your mood was wrong. Like, what were you even doing sitting down at the machine? But it served me to get me to a better frame of mind, and that project can go to somebody who doesn't sew, and they will think it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought this because this is denim and I will say with denim I like the stretch denims the most because well they stretch I mean I don't want to be trapped in by denims like the thought of old-fashioned jeans give me the hives because they're kind of trappy and um, what am I going too long what does that mean oh so I'm going too long okay I'll wrap it up um, yeah, and we have three winners to talk about, too. But I guess my reason for being here, you guys, is to let you know that you can absolutely do whatever you think you can do. I'm a really big believer in that. And don't let any outside judgments or forces stop you from pursuing what you want to do. I mean, I was a runner for, like, 15 years, and I look worse than Phoebe on Friends when I run. I look terrible when I run, but I don't care because I needed that for those years for me, for my sanity and my happiness. And so I did it anyways. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know. I just think that we all just need that confidence, that piece of happiness. Part of sewing is to continue learning. So if you're always doing the same things that you've done for a decade or whatever, and you're not pushing yourself, then think about it. Be open to the possibility of pushing yourself in a new way or form. And you don't have to have strong parameters. <laughs> you know, when I worked at Walter Reed, there was this group of doctors, and they called me Phoebe. I took it as a compliment, because that's how I do. <laughs> um, Okay, so let's see. At the end of the day, use these patterns. I've done all of these. I stand behind them. If you have trouble, I can help you out if you need it. But I will say a lot of these designers have blogs, and they are chock full of information. 
so you might find your answer on their blog. It's a quick read. Uh, fabrics, highly recommend quilting cotton, rayon, linen, silk noil. Uh, uh, what am I missing? Wide backs, heck yes. Oh, Ramel, can you hand me that hexagon from Tula? I wanna, I'm gonna do a dress in this. It's full on, in your face, I'm here for it. It's right there on the wide back down low, down low. Yep, yeah. And uh, yeah, just go for it. Comfort and body image. That's what we're here for. We want to oh, be. Really good. We want. Rayon? This is a sateen, which I also recommend. Tula and Kate both have sateens in their wide back line. I'm gonna do a savvy dress in this, and I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna wear my red shoes, probably my cowboy boots, or maybe my clogs, and a red headband, and I'm going for it. Okay. No apologies here. Mm -mm, I am for it. Energy. Color is energy. Yeah, so about comfort and body image. I think if you make clothing with fabrics you love, it's just going to brighten everything up. And you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel like a million dollars. And put on your jewelry. Jill is so good at doing her fashion, her jewelry, and her, her whole look when she comes in. It just, like, I stop. <gasps> and I'm just, I just want to look. You know? That's all it takes. Feel good. Make clothes that make you feel good. And they're going to last. Yep. This is like butter, Elizabeth. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I'll use that. <laughs> I'll use that. <laughs> that cut. Um, okay, so there we are. Where was I going next? Winners. We have three winners. And yeah, we ha and I have some really cool books here that I'm going to send to winners. Because even if you never make a pattern from a book, I highly recommend books. You can often find them at secondhand bookstores as well. You don't, you know, you don't have to buy online from the A. You don't have to pay a, a ton of money. Thrift shops often have books. I always browse for books in sewing because even if I know, well, I'm not going to make that. I think it's another energy starter. It gets those thoughts circulating. It's fun to look at. I look at books even in the bathtub or whatever, and it just gets me, like, energized. That's what it's about. Let's, let's show the winners. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Jean, 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 and Zena, and Irene. Oh, Jean, Zena, and Irene. Jean, Irene, Zena. Zena, Jean, Irene. Love it. I'll be sending out your stuff. Please email me, natalie at sohungryhippie.com. So I know I have your addresses. Jean, I know who you are. You just come on in at your leisure and pick up your prize. Zena and Irene, I need to connect with you. OK, one more thing. I bought these boxes, and Ramel was not pleased with me because they're really complicated to put together. So I decided I'm going to use them all up at once and make some limited edition mystery boxes. So I'm going to take you through one. A mystery box has just a menage of stuff, menagerie, menagerie, of cool stuff. Everything I buy in my shop is cool. I mean, to me, it's cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to take you through this one as an example. However, they are all different, OK? And then we'll be out of here. So this one has a big hunk of hunk of jelly vinyl. And the reason this would be in here is because maybe it got folded wrong or there's something. You know, it's usable, but maybe it had a crease. And you'll have to blow dry it a little bit. Or maybe it had like a light spot. So I can't sell it, but this is totally usable. And if nothing else, you could experiment with it, right? Remember, not all of them have this. This is just a sample box. Zipper with heart pull. Glitter webbing. Some Tula webbing. OK. These are off cuts, which means this is not a full five yards. I couldn't sell it. Oh, we got a, what's this called? Tassel. This is just for funsies. Like, you could put this across the top of a zipper pouch. It was extra on the roll. so. There it is. Or maybe it was a miscut. Got some hardware. We've got a zipper. 
this zipper. I, yeah, it is, isn't it? I better not show it too long. Um, a sticker, soft vinyl, which pairs well with this cotton designer fabric that I threw in here. This is quite a bit, but see, I it's um, it's like it's like a scrap, but yet it's a lot. You know what I mean? This is not. This is usable for many Santorini tote or some zipper pouches or whatevs. Spool of Guterman all-purpose thread in my favorite signature color, petal. And a tag made by me from Sarah Hartz. Right? So there's one mystery box. These will go live tonight for VIPs first. And then uh, Sunday they'll be in the email. So might be worth it to get one. Surprise yourself if you're a mother or if you have a mother. Celebrate mothers because um, my friend Melissa reminded me last night. She sent me a, a hilarious meme. She's had 10 kids and she sent me a graphic of what 10 centimeters looks like <laughs> when you're birthing a baby. So every mother deserves a box. And if you're a dog mother, that counts. <laughs> or a cat mother. So. I had a lot of fun here. I wasn't feeling it this morning. I showed up, and I'm, I'm just a lot happier. So thank you for joining me and being here. I appreciate you. And, hey, have a great weekend, and let's sew some garments. All right? Bye.